Hi, I'm Chris Hague and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play a bluegrass gospel number, The Old Rugged Cross. Cross was a request for several people, including Kevin. It was written in 1912 by the American evangelist George Bernard, and in 1952 it became the title track of an Ernest Tubbs gospel album, and I think from there it began to become very popular in country and bluegrass music. Uh, Rhonda Vincent, uh, I think fairly recently, recorded this and so far has a million views on YouTube, so way to go Rhonda. Um, I'm going to give you two versions of this, a basic, simple version and a more interesting and complex version with lots of double stops. So, first of all, um, it's a waltz, it's played nice and slow. <laughs> So that's pretty straightforward. You could play quite a lot of it in the upper octave if you, you preferred. Uh, notice that um, it's, a, it's played with swing. So uh, bar four, for example, it's not played one, two, it's not played as even quavers, it's swung quavers, so long and short. Uh, I suspect the original may have been straight, but certainly in a bluegrass setting it sounds great with this uh, slight swing to it. We've got a few accidentals. Um, there we've got a C sharp and that's a bit of a straight. And we're going from the E to a um, D sharp or E flat. So just watch out for those. Apart from that it's pretty straightforward. Okay, now let's look um, more slowly and in detail at the uh, Old Rugged Cross version 2. So we're going to start off with a little triplet. So I'm going to do this first finger, second finger, second finger stretched. Like that. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, here we got uh, putting in two grace notes. And we're slurring though, we're putting these at the end of a bow, like that. Um, then, you've got a choice of, uh, we're going up to third position with a second finger over a first finger. Now the simple version of this is just slide both notes down and then up again. Uh, what's quite a lot harder is... So we're going down, and then third, second, and then second, first. Uh, this is not easy because you can't slide smoothly from one to the next. That's about as smooth as you can make it. Uh, and then we got... 
So the top line is that, and we're going down from third finger, second finger, second finger. But we're putting an open A drone over the first five notes. Here we've got the third finger over second finger, sliding both down a semitone, and then moving to second first. Here we've got. So we're going to third position, first finger over a third finger. Keeping the third finger down, putting first and second, and then back to first. Then that triplet again. So this is second finger over first, F natural over A, and then into third position, for uh, second over third. And again, we've got either the or up to third position, three over two, two over one, down to first position, three over two, two over one. Let's just take it all the way from the beginning uh, up to there. second half and it's a third finger of a second finger so over so those two bars now this is a different way of getting from the G7 to the C chord a different harmony so it's two over one, uh, slide both down to two over one, and then F over A. Um, you may prefer the other harmony and may prefer not to do this one, but it's a nice variety. So staying in third position, we're going from two over one, three over two, four over three, 3 over 2, 2 over 1, um, and then staying in third position. So this is 1 over 3, so we're ch changing the type of harmony we're using. And then the surprise in the melody is it doesn't go back to where you think it's going to go to. It goes to... So this is 2 over 1, 3 over 2, 2 over 1. Down to first position. So let's open over two. Uh, keep your second down and put your first finger on it. Up to third. That's three over two. And then you can either go or go straight down to first position. So that's three over two. Open with a. a one of us open, three over two, and then a typical bluegrass rundown. So I will just point out that these are my variations and uh, there's nothing particularly special about them. I, w I would probably, uh, having learned the basic melody, pick and choose some of these harmony double stop parts which you like. Um, if any of them are too hard or you don't like them, then just 
simplify or find some other variations. But if you're playing this, um, people are going to be much more impressed and it's going to be more, it's going to have a much fuller sound using these kind of double stops. So let's go all the way through the tune. If you enjoyed this if you would like a copy of both versions the simple version and the double stop version do subscribe and send me an email and I will send you a PDF I hope you will consider joining me on patreon which is what keeps these videos coming and with that you will get all of my PDFs in one go uh, for a mere four pounds if you join at the bottom level thank you for watching I'll see you again soon